What a pleasure Thank to you. see you. To see you again in, in Greece during these challenging times. It seems that uh, uh, COVID-19 has this capacity to constantly uh, surprise us. Uh, as you know, we have been rather aggressive uh, in um, uh, pushing up vaccination um, uh, rates. Uh, we are using all tools at our disposal, uh, including the measure of mandatory vaccinations uh, for those above um, uh, 60. Uh, I explained to Parliament yesterday uh, my rationale when we look at all the data. It is very clear that disproportionately it is that age group that is affected. We still have 500,000 Greeks above 60 who uh, have not yet been vaccinated. Uh, and uh, it is my moral, I would say, obligation to use all the tools at my disposal to convince them that uh, they need to get vaccinated. What is uh, remarkable uh, is the fact that uh, since we announced uh, the measure, we have seen a significant uh, increase uh, in uh, appointments um, for vaccinations uh, amongst this uh, group. Uh, and of course, the other thing we're doing is we were uh, leaders, I think, in Europe in terms of opening up uh, uh, vaccinations for uh, everyone um, for the booster shot. Uh, and uh, we are also uh, encouraging our committee to contemplate administering the booster shot um, uh, uh, for rather than six months after the administration of the second dose. I think we need a big uh, sort of uh, um, uh, uh, boost in vaccinations before Christmas. Uh, and uh, that is what we're trying to, uh, to do. Uh, and uh, we want to thank you again for, uh, for all your uh, support uh, across the board, not just regarding the, you know, the efforts on, on COVID, but of course, we first need to defeat COVID in order to deal more systematically with the other important issues that uh, we have to address in order to improve our healthcare system. So again, it's a pleasure to, 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 to have you again in Greece and thank you for all the support you've offered the Greek government. Thank you so much, Mr. Prime Minister, for receiving me. I remember very well our last conversation and it's amazing how quickly under your personal leadership have been moving forward to push back the COVID waves. You have a very well organized COVID-19 vaccination program, very well set. As you're mentioning yourself, you're the top in the boosters because this is one of the five essential stabilizers, not only to protect the health, to prevent that hospitals collapsing, but also to protect the economy, which we really have to take very seriously into account. I saw that under your leadership, the number of people 60 and above daily increased tenfold, if I understood from Minister Pleuris, from 2,000 to 20,000, so the measures are working. And of course, within the legal and societal framework, we have to do everything possible to push up the vaccination coverage. But at the same time, you are also demonstrating a tremendous international solidarity, for which, on behalf of the WHO, I want to thank the Greek government, to Vietnam, Gabon, Rwanda, other countries, because you were doing what WHO recommend, do it all. So apply booster, but also ensure that low-income countries in solidarity are getting the vaccine. So I really want to express my appreciation. It is the most difficult to go the last mile. We know this, so in that sense, we stand with you together. At the same time, congratulations for not hesitating to move other agendas, like the quality of care. And we're very proud of the office, and I will do everything in my possibilities to make it really a region center of excellence. And I want to thank Mr. Pleuveris and the team also. And now we're combining the quality of care with the mental health, which is also a priority for you, incredibly important in the pandemic. So on the quality of care, we had very good discussion with Minister Pleuveris, also with Minister Adonis Gurgadis, and we're working together on a proposal on a framework, national framework on quality for the whole sector in Greece, because I always say, what gets measured gets done. And Greece will be the pioneer for WHO, where not only we involve public sector, but private sector. Because we have to look, the pandemic showed, private-public collaboration is very important, and there we will be pioneering this framework. And then Mr. Minister Gjorgard is told that he will be willing to allocate the funding. The other element we're working on is bringing mental health towards the younger group. And there I want to commend also the Deputy Minister Rapti, who was after the July meeting with us in Brussels, where with the Queen of Belgium, Queen Mathilde, we launched the Pan-European Coalition on Mental Health, 
So we are very committed to work with you on the mental health reform in the country, but also through the Center of Quality of Care for the Southern Eastern countries, the Mediterranean Basin as well. I'm leaving tonight to Budva, to Montenegro, for the Heads of Government meeting of the Central European Initiative with the Prime Ministers, and I will take the experience of today with me to the Prime Ministers. In that sense, I would like to give you a copy, Excellency, of the final report of the Monti Commission. I had mentioned last time that I established the Pan-European Commission on Health and Sustainable Development to rethink policy priorities in the light of pandemics to prevent a similar calamity in the future. The chair was Professor Mario Monti, and we had 18 high-level commissioners, and now we have a new strategy on health and sustainable development for the region. And I also want to express appreciation to the chief scientific coordinator, Professor Elias Mosialos, who was with me at the start of this initiative and really has devoted a lot, a lot of effort. So we are here to work with you, Excellency, quality of care, mental health for the children. And it's the first time we're meeting with the minister and we found immediately a very good chemistry and we have, I think, the same kind of high ambitions. So in that sense, your support is very important. Thank you. I want to point out that we have an excellent new team at the Ministry of Health continuing building upon uh, uh, the very good work that uh, was done previously. Um, we have a, a very nice mix. Um, uh, Minister Plever is, is, a, is a committed reformer uh, and I have full confidence in his ability to deliver beyond the pandemic and use the pandemic as, uh, an, as, as an opportunity to make uh, important changes uh, in our national healthcare system, always focusing on the issue of quality uh, of care across the board. And of course, alternate minister Gaga was, and still is at, the, <laughs> you know, in the trenches uh, in, in the war against COVID. So I think she brings a lot of expertise uh, in terms of rethinking uh, the organization of our hospitals, um, uh, where also we need to do uh, a lot of work. Um, uh, we discussed last time uh, my, my particular focus on the issue of mental health, and um, Deputy Minister Rapti uh, has been instrumental in leading this agenda, especially uh, mental health uh, uh, in children, adolescents, and, and young adults. Uh, we need to divert funds towards these um, uh, initiatives, uh, and we need to give them uh, the necessary public uh, visibility First of all, in order to fight the stigma associated with uh, mental health, which uh, sometimes I think is the biggest burden that these people and their families uh, carry as they struggle with what is essentially another type of illness. Uh, and this is the way we need to, uh, to look at it. So again, pleasure to, to have you here.